All right, well, I wanted to take a couple minutes this evening to do some translation for you. I'm a lifelong Londoner, and sometimes we say things, and I'm not sure that everyone always understands what we're actually saying. So I'll start with a simple one. There's no parking in downtown. What we're actually saying is that there's no free parking in downtown. Because the truth is, there's a lot of parking in downtown. There's 10,000 spaces of parking downtown. And we actually only run at 70% capacity. Uh, so if you can't find a place to park downtown, uh, you might be looking in the wrong spot. You might not actually be downtown. Um, but then there's the free part, right? Because we, we, we can't always pay. There are lots of other modes of transportation to get downtown. Uh, you can, every bus in the city gets you downtown. Uh, get on one and you'll end up downtown, I promise. Um, or of course you can bike as well. People say London is really white. What they're actually saying is, I don't get out of Byron very often. <laughs> because we actually have great diversity in the city. We are pretty much on par with the Canadian average. Here's our uh, dynamic dozen dance team from the city, representing some of the, the culture and energy of our community. Um, and uh, actually, our immigration is the only thing that's keeping London from shrinking. That's why our population grows every year, because of immigration. People say we pay the highest tax rates. Um, that's actually saying that they're not very good at reading charts. Because we're, we're middle of the road. If you look at it, uh, we're a very middle of the road city. Uh, if you look at what we pay for our water, what we pay for our electricity, what we pay for our property taxes. So it's a two table, same chart. We're right dead center. Um, we actually pay less on, on our sewer charges. Um, income, we're dead average in terms of what we make in income. People say that the Thames smells terrible. What they're, oh no, they're right. The Thames, it just stinks. It's, it smells like someone blew up a beaver dam and left it to rot. Uh, but fortunately, we've got the uh, Thames River Rally cleaning up our river. Join in, find it on Facebook. People say downtown is dead. What they're actually saying is, I don't really go downtown very much. Because downtown is hopping. It is vibrant. It is busy. There is actually almost no vacancy downtown. And we get a skewed image, because you go down Dundas and you see some vacancies. Those are basically all of the vacancies in the downtown. Whether you're looking for a place for business um, or you're looking for a retail space, office, it's hard to find space. It's hopping. People say London is very conservative. What they really mean is, I read the comments on the free press online. <laughs> Because London is actually a very progressive city with progressive uh, communities, with progressive social programs. And even if you look at uh, the Ontario politics, we're kind of a little bubble of uh, liberal in, uh, in this conservative southwestern Ontario. Um, communities uh, like the, the Pride that we're celebrating right now um, and, uh, and the programs that we have are very progressive. People say that London has no culture. And what they're saying is that they don't have cool friends like you. <laughs> because there's a lots of things going on. Go on the Beat Magazine website. They have a list of things that are going on. I, that's maybe a third of the things that are happening this week. There are so many community things. There are so many musical, theater, uh, fine arts festivals. We have five places in town that serve fancy craft or imported beers. That's a, that's a scene like no other community our size. And then, of course, there's our festivals, our summer festivals, one or two a week running all summer. And they don't stop in the summer. They carry on with the, the Western Fair, uh, with the Open Doors London. We have festivals um, and festivals and festivals. There's so much going on. So when people say there's nothing going on in London, there's nothing to do, what they're really saying is I've got hooked on too many television series that I never leave my house. So if you go to this website, London for the Wind, for example, from our friends from our attraction, um, it has tons of things that you can click on to find out what you can do. If you're having trouble finding things to do, uh, it's really easy to find what's going on in our community. And I, I could have a million hours, and I could not do all the things and hobbies that I love to do outside of my family and my job. Uh, there's so much going on that we just don't have time to do it all, because uh, our city is hopping and our city is fun. So when people say, I hate London, I think they're just saying, I've yet to fall in love with it. 
And so I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear the things that you love about London uh, so you can help me fall even more in love with it as well. Uh, so thank you.